friends of YouTube, Load Fly Helis here. Um, boy, I've had a lot of people ask me if if I've quit building or when I'm going to build some more planes. So uh, I'm kind of back in the swing. I think got a little time now, and we're fixing to start a build. Uh, this plane we're starting on today. Uh, I have a very good friend, Jason, and Matt, that's him right there, <laughs> uh, in Canada, and we've been been pretty good friends for I think over a year now. Uh, just have become pretty close and uh, matter of fact he's planning on flying down here in September and spending a week with us so anyway Virgil started something when he sent me the Edge 540 a couple years ago now uh, Jason he's new to RC he's really interested in learning he's bought his plane he's bought all the tools and everything ready to go but he's never built one uh, He's trusting me to build this one for him so he can follow along. So this plane that I have here, he sent it to me uh, three or four weeks ago and uh, asked me to build it and do the video so he can follow along and get his done. So we're going to get this thing done. I'm going to work on it this evening, the rest of the afternoon, and all day tomorrow and see what we can get done so he can try to hurry and get his done so he can fly. He's, he's finally got some good, decent weather up there in Canada now. So anyway, let me show you what he got me here. All right, uh, what Jason sent me is a Cadet LT-40 EG uh, by SIG model aircraft. SIG is a very good quality aircraft. Uh, this will be my actually first one to build, but I've had friends that have had several different ones, and they are built very well. We have one myself. I, uh, my wife has a SIG Cadet Senior, which is a, a lot bigger than this one, but uh, I got it from Ken. But they are built good, <laughs> good high quality. They're a little more expensive than some. Uh, I think this one's about 209, 210, and you know, same size, 40 size trainer you can get for 100 and a quarter, 150 somewhere else. But, but they're not built as good as this one. Um, <clears throat> this one even comes with a cowl, you know, and and uh, no trainer that I know of does. And the wing bolts on; it's not put on with rubber bands. It's just a very good quality, quality plane. So, anyway, this is what Jason sent me. And we are fixing to unbox it, and then as soon as we get done with that, we're going to start on the first build series. I'm not sure how many it'll take. I'm going to try my best to keep them around 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes, you know, I don't want to split right in the middle of of what I'm doing on one thing and do another one. So I just go ahead and run it. It may go to an hour, but I'm going to try to keep them around 30 to 40 minutes if any way possible. So, all right, here we go. Okay, guys and gals, we're going to do the uh, unboxing on this uh, SIG Cadet LT40 trainer and uh, kind of show you what all is in the, in the box and then we'll start building on it here a little bit. Um, right, really nice set of decals uh, to put on and your manual, of course, right in there. So uh, this, this plane is packaged extremely well. Most of them are just wrapped in a thin plastic. This is actually, these pieces are all wrapped in bubble pack and that's 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 just sig for you that's a good high quality uh, company and not to say that some of the others aren't but some of them aren't packed as good as this but anyway we'll be real careful cutting this tape so we don't cut any of our covering they keep it all taped together in one unit so it doesn't slide around and uh, get banged up on you now Jason just asked me a few minutes ago if I found any wrinkles on it. Yes, there are a few, but it's not bad. The stab itself doesn't have, excuse me, doesn't have any on it. The rudder has some right here, but we will, we'll get the heat gun out when we start building and show you how to take those out. So there's your elevator and your uh, uh, vertical fan and rudder, and its uh, hinges are all pre-glued pre for you, so you don't have to glue those. So anyway, we'll lay that aside. Um, let's see if we can get some more of this tape cut here. See what we can do without cutting any covering. Okay, find the end. Looks like this end. We got them taped together. I tell you, I sure don't want this thing banging around and getting tore up in transit. Uh, matter of fact, the the uh, bubble pack. It's even sealed on the end instead of taped. So let's get some scissors and uh, we'll cut the end off of this. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and 
and take these wings out of the bag because the wing is the first thing we'll start working on. Uh, I'm just going to lay this bubble pack in my chair. Okay, there's the bottom of the wing. Uh, ailerons are pre-hinged. There's very few small wrinkles in the bottom of this. Not bad at all. The top, uh, very little in the top, just a couple of little loose areas and we'll tighten that up with a heat gun. There's a couple of wrinkles on the aileron, but not bad at all, not bad at all. Uh, this will uh, be a one piece wing, we have to glue it together. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. Um, I'm gonna get this one out. Cut the covering off of it. Uh, it's already kind of cut, so. The other half of the wing. Alright, save all that bubble pack. Alright, very little wrinkle, just a few on the bottom. Nothing real serious. Nothing the heat gun won't take out in about five minutes. Uh, everything looks uh, nice and tight. And, and, uh, this will be, apparently, this will be a single servo on the ailerons, which most trainers are. Uh, usually you don't have two, one in each wing on a trainer. They're just, they're not made to do a lot of heavy acrobatics with, although my friend Don, man, he put his through the paces, he did everything under the sun with his, and it's still flying, so that shows you how tough they are. A lot of trainers, you get into some really hard maneuvers, and, and you'll rip the wing off of it. Uh, so, all right, there's that. Let's take this insert out and we'll lay it over here and get this box loose. Don't think there's nothing else in that. That was just the, to protect the fuselage. Alright, take that fuselage out. Let's get it un, untaped here. There again, be real careful if you're using a knife and don't don't cut your covering, you know away from this thing so all right let's see here Get down over here for the trash uh, boy looks really nice uh, a couple little wrinkles right here nothing serious at all a few down here like I say the heat gun will take those out in just a couple of minutes a little bit on the bottom but nothing serious I've seen way way worse uh, than this so and we'll check any edges, like around where the landing gear stuff go. We'll make sure it's all tight. Uh, around the front of the firewall is all sealed down good. We'll just kind of double touch on that. Um, nice roomy compartment inside for all your electronics and stuff. Um, little compartment up here on the front. You can get into your fuel tank or if you're running electric, it's where your battery goes. And it's real easy to get into. It's got a little lip on the front that slides under there. And then... Uh, a little latch that turns and locks real tight so it won't come off. And the wing, one thing I like about this trainer, uh, a lot of trainers like the tower trainers and the hobby coats, the, the, rubber, the wings are rubber banded on. That is the biggest pain in the butt. Because you've got to make sure you keep your wings centered while you put all them on there and you've got to put about 12 to be safe. I never run under 10. Usually 12, 6 on each side on a trainer. Uh, so that's really a big pain. This plane the wing actually bolts on just like any of your other higher class planes so this is definitely a better quality build uh, on this and I, I definitely would recommend it so far I'm really really impressed and I've seen a few SIGs before I've never built one but I've flown several and my friends you know had friends that have had them and and uh, was real impressed with them so okay let's take this big box here and open it up you will have your uh, your wing uh, joiner that glues in and then there's some other little balsa one of them is probably probably to hold the fuel tank in or something not sure what this piece is but we'll get it in the instruction here's some uh, two control horns they're heavy duty plastic control horns comes with a black spinner uh, and I generally don't like plastic spinners Although the black will look good on this, but I think I may have an aluminum two blade that'll fit it. So I will most likely put a two blade on there and donate that to my buddy Bill. He likes the plastic ones, so I give all them to him. But we'll see what I have. If I don't have one, I'll use it, but I think I have one that I'd put on there. So there's your fuel tank assembly. Got your all your tubes, your stopper, everything. Uh, some fuel line, a clunk. 
And here's your wheels. This looks like, uh, I'm going to measure them, but it looks like three inch, maybe three and a half, which I really, really like. They're three and a quarter. No other trainer I've ever seen comes with that size, a 40 size trainer. Usually they come with two and a half, maybe three inch. So those are three and a quarter. Then we're going to roll really, really well in the grass. Uh, wire landing gear, but those are real strong. They're easy to put in. There's all your hardware in there and your wheel collars to put them on. So very impressed with the size of the wheels. I hate a plane that comes with little bitty wheels. Anything under two and a half, uh, two and a half down is, is tough on grass runway. You need to at least two and a half minimum. I prefer three or three and a half on, you know, of course your bigger planes are going to get bigger than that. So, all right, there's the front landing gear uh, rod and the steering arm and all the hardware to put that on. This nylon bracket will bolt to the front of the firewall. And uh, there's a two-piece motor mount, which, you know, will make it very handy for us to switch this around to make the engine sideways. We're hoping to put our head sticking out to the right side and the muffler will be underneath it. When you put the head up on a trainer, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the muffler's on the right side and the whole right side of the plane just gets covered. <coughs> uh oh, I think I swallowed a grasshopper. Okay. Now, the only thing left in here is a cow. Here's another thing. I've never seen another trainer besides SIG that comes with a cow. They're mostly open engines on the front which is fine for a trainer but the cow just makes it look that much nicer so very very good quality kit and I highly recommend the SIG Cadet LT40. Jason made a very good choice when he bought his plane. Now, he bought his first a few months ago quite a while back and then he bought another one and sent it to me and uh, a little turkey. I'll get him back one of these days. Uh, I still, still got to get Virgil back too. Anyway there's the unboxing uh, we will shut this off at this point and I'll put some of it back in the box and just get my stuff out. I'll take all my pieces parts and divide them out into my butter bowls and stuff. All my bolts in separate tubs so I can just grab one and I don't have to keep opening stuff. I'll just go ahead and open them up and I put them in my little dishes with lids on them. So anyway, uh, there you have the unboxing. A SIG, SIG Cadet LT40 40 size trainer. Uh, I have seen this plane in action and it flies very well and you can do some amazing tricks with it for being a trainer. So, Alright, happy flying to you guys and uh, next video we'll, we'll start building. Thanks for watching.